Hello, Debbie. Hello, Debbie. Yes. Hi, good morning. Good morning. I I just sold an investment property and we met around one fifty. I um we receive a ten thirty one form. Now I didn't put that proceeds into a separate escrow account for reinvestment. Will I be taxed on it? So the question, I think, is have you identified a replacement property? It sounds that you want to do a 1031 exchange, which which basically moves the gain from one investment into another investment. Have you filled out a form with the Internal Revenue Service identifying the replacement property? Not yet, no. Not yet. Okay. So have you identified a replacement property? No, we're looking for one. Okay. De Debbie, uh, you, uh, this sounds like a do-it-yourself project. It is. Debbie, this is not a good idea. <laughs> yeah. You need a you need what's called a qualified intermediary to help you with this. Um, okay. Yes. Um, th this is not a, this is, th what you're talking about, for our listeners that might not be familiar with what you're trying to do. Gary, let's talk about a 1031 exchange, which he's trying to. Right, so you can an, you can exchange one. It's called like property. It doesn't have to be an apartment for an apartment. It could be even land for an apartment, or investment property. Investment property, mm -hmm. right? And you identify what you're going to replace the property that you've just sold with, so that you transfer to the new property the gain. So, for example, if you have a hundred thousand dollar gain from the sale of property A, you buy property B for say three hundred thousand. Your basis in that property will become 200 because you're going to, your cost factor will be 200 because you're going to move that $100,000 gain into the new property. The issue is though, as, as Joe mentioned, is you have to work through with a qualified intermediary who identifies the property and they help you uh, with the filings typically too to make sure you've identified that with the Internal Revenue Service. It's called a three corner exchange or a Starker exchange, but, you, but you, you've already sold the property, Debbie? Yes. Uh, the horse may be out of the barn on this transaction. Well, if you, if you d when did you sell it? Last week. Oh, last, last week. No, last I think Monday. you. I I think you still. I mean, maybe give us a holler on Monday, and uh, we can we can chat through that. But because it's just recently sold, you can still identify find another property to exchange. But the time will be running out for you. What is the What is the size of the transaction, Debbie? What's $150,000? You're going to be yeah. on the cusp of this even making economic sense. Well, is that the gain or is that the, the dollar amount of the sale? The gain. The gain. No, I, th I think that's... Yeah. Well, you know, you've got... This is not inexpensive to do. Right. Um, and, 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 you know, you're, all you're doing is you're avoiding capital gains, I would presume, in this property. And depending on what your tax bracket is, the capital gains may not be as much as you think it is. And you're going to spend more in legal fees than what you'd pay in the modest amount of capital gains. So well, and the capital gains tax may be going up. Exactly. Right. So, so yeah. sometimes it's not such a bad thing to pay capital gains. Yes.